welcome to the class of business studies today we are going to continue further with chapter 7 of your ncert that is directing so let's start with its first topic meaning of directing directing is a function of management this is the process of instructing guiding inspiring supervising and motivating the employees to contribute to the best of their efforts for achievement of organizational objectives directing comprises of issuing orders by the superiors to subordinates it also includes supervising the employees when they are performing their jobs motivating them to perform more effectively leading them towards the achievement of overall goals of the concern so directing means to instruct the employees to guide them to inspire them to motivate them so that they can give their best efforts to have optimum results towards the achievement of towards the realization of organizational goals and objectives if we talk about the characteristics of directing then the different facts are coming under it first is directing initiates actions directing is a function which creates preconditions for action through directing we convert our plans into results and it also provides a basis for control second feature is directing takes place at every level directing is a pervasive function it is existing at every level and every department of the organization supervisors at all, all levels need to direct their subordinates so that they can perform more efficiently and effectively directing is a continuous process this is an ongoing activity the managers they need to issue orders and give instructions to their subordinates they need to inspire them time to time so that they can make sure that work is progressing as per the planning process directions flow from top to bottom directions flow from top level management and ends at the lower level management through a proper organizational hierarchy directing deals with people this process is concerned with ensuring that people in organization act in an efficient and effective manner they need to be motivated supervised and led for the achievement of certain goals of the enterprise directing is performance oriented this is performance oriented because it converts the plans into actual performance direction has dual objectives on the one hand it aims at getting things done by the subordinates and on the other hand the superiors are given opportunities for some more important work which their subordinates cannot do directing is a dynamic function it is dynamic because the techniques the methods they keep on changing so techniques and methods of direction are also to be changed with changing organizational conditions so these are the different characteristics of directing it is pervasive it is continuous it is oriented towards better performance dual objectives deals with people and it is always flowing from top level to the lower level management next is about the importance of directing function directing function is very important in the organization because it converts plans into actions the importance of directing can be proved through following facts 
फर्स्ट इज इट इनिशिएट्स एक्शन डायरेक्टिंग हेल्प अस टू इनिशिएट एक्शन टू वर्ड्स द रियलाइजेशन ऑफ प्रीडिटरमाइंड गोल्स प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग स्टाफिंग विल बी टेकन अप ओनली वेन डायरेक्शन आर गिवन फॉर दम सो दिस इज वेरी नेसेसरी to make the best use of various resources as it activates the employees at work second importance it integrates group efforts directing integrates the activities of subordinates into team work by supervision guidance and proper counseling of the employees third is it facilitates change as we have already discussed directing is a dynamic function it changes with time as organization operates in dynamic environment and changes have to be introduced for survival and growth of organization so effective directing reduces the employee resistance to change because directing keeps on motivating them it keeps on inspiring them so that they can easily adapt to the changes in techniques changes in methods and changes in working conditions next importance is it brings stability and balance in the organization effective directing helps to maintain a balance between different segments activities departments and groups of the organization in addition a balance between individual and organizational interest is also maintained by directing function of management it reduces the industrial disputes and it promotes better industrial relations next importance is it maintains the means of motivation see motivation is very important element of directing direction function does not mean giving orders and instructions only but it involves motivating and inspiring the people on work so that they can perform well to their best and give optimum results thus direction helps employees to realize their full potential by developing a feeling of a sense of belongingness towards the organization so these facts are the different importances of directing function so this is all for today in our next video we will do elements of directing and principles of directing so if you have any queries you can drop on google class till then take care all of you thank you shen stars